Hello, hello everyone. It's Laurie from Quick Scrub Craft. Welcome back to the channel. I am doing a February haul sort of in two parts. Well, it is in two parts. So I made two different purchases and I got the first half of that purchase and I wanted to share, I wanted to film this part because some of it I want to start using um, and then I'll film the second part and I'll put the videos together and it'll be like no time has passed at all. Yay editing. So this is what I purchased from Paper Issues for the month of February. Um, obviously I'm still following along with Chamel and her best of both worlds kits. I really liked the stuff that she picked for February. However, the nature of the products lend themselves to my um, monthly pocket pages that I started doing uh, in 2021. And I would like to continue doing those in 2022. So most of the stuff um, I'm not going to be like using along with Chamel during this month. Um, but what I am going to do is save it and use it for my pocket pages. I'm still going to follow along with Chamel, but I'm just going to use other things that are in my stash to kind of scrap lift her. So as always, you get a cute little card from Cassie at Paper Issues. Um, this is the new Simple Stories plus sign stencil. This is part of the Best of Both Worlds kit. I think it looks really, really cool. I can imagine doing a lot of, um, you know, you could like gesso this. I You could do that um, Vicky Booten technique that I showed you in a previous video where you like do misting spray or water down some ink and then like cover the whole thing and then smush it down, right? That would be really cool with this. So I like that. Um, this I actually will probably use with the best of both world stuff as opposed to my project uh, life monthly pages. So just gonna, you know, keep this aside. This is just for general, you know, general use, whatever. Then there's also, oh my gosh, I didn't know all of this came with it. <gasps> wow. So this was recommended by one of the Paper Issues design team members. And I thought I was just getting the circle, but it's a three pack. So you get the circle which is awesome. You get this cool pattern. What? And you get this pattern with the flowers. Oh my gosh. I had no idea. This is a really good deal though. I thought I was paying like six fifty for just one stencil, but I was getting three. This is awesome. So this is just for like general use. Again, the, the circles were recommended. I saw one of the paper issues design team members do it during a live. And I was like, that looks really cool. So I should totally get it. Um, but I got three, three stencils in one. That's awesome. Okay. So I picked up a couple other things for myself. I still have some Halloween photos that I need to scrapbook. So I picked up um, from Fancy Pants, the Spellbound collection, All Hallows Eve, I like the different black and white moons. And then on the back is orange paper with the word, the word 31 printed all over in just sort of a, a white. Um, then I also got Candy Carnival from Doodlebug. I love the bright colors on this. Goes pretty well, like the orange and the orange, I think. Um, and then this has just black and white little symbols on them. Pumpkins, cotton candy. Cotton candy is not a Halloween thing for me. Popcorn? No. I get the pumpkins, the lollipops, the spiders, the candy apples. Hmm, some of these, some of these doodle bug. I don't know how you celebrate Halloween. Um, but I just wanted some things that had like orange and black in them to go with some of the other pieces that I already had. And then I needed just a few more embellishments. So I grabbed the um, Doodlebug Candy Carnival 12 by 12 sticker sheet. So I like the small uh, word phrase stickers. I love when they do the border stickers. I think those are really cool. And then they've got giant things too, which are going to be a lot of fun as well as just a few like, you know, some arrows, um, brackets, hearts, stars. So really fun there just to help me finish up my Halloween stuff. Okay. And then more into the meat of the best of both worlds kit. I'm going to tell you right now, these were not the alpha stickers that Chamel recommended, but they were all sold out. Paper issues didn't have them either. So I just chose a similar kind of similar style and color. So this is the Florence alphabet stickers from Bella Boulevard in the color punch. I like it. You can see it. I think it goes pretty well with the colors in the Simple Stories Good Stuff collection. So swap out whatever you have. Maybe you already have pink alphas and you're like, I don't need any more. Don't buy any more. No big deal. So another paper issues thing, in case you need to know where to find them. Um, the Simple Stories Journal Bits. So this is really cool because there's lots of space for writing down stuff. Now I'm not really, my Pocket Life monthly pages, um, I'm not really doing a whole lot of like, I'm, I'm doing embellishments and like a lot of these cut aparts, but I haven't really been doing stuff like this. So I think I might save these and add these as embellishments for whatever I create in February as part of 
scrap lifting Chamel. I actually think some of these pinks would be really, really good with the Echo Park Teen Squad collection that I picked up um, as part of my Christmas haul. Or I can actually try to see if I have, you know, other papers in my stash or make like another order um, and find other things that are, that have these similar colors. Um, this is the sticker book, the Good Stuff sticker book. It's got a lot of good stuff in it. These are all paper stickers, but they've got um, borders, mini alphas, which I love. They've got little word phrase stickers, flowers, big words. Oh, and everything is, ooh, all the months of the year. I like that. So this is, you know, when I started doing Simple Stories Hello Today collection, I didn't get it right away. And I, I got all the papers and I got some of the embellishments, but I didn't get like everything like this. So I was really um, keeping things pretty minimal, but these are going to be great for doing my um, Project Life pages as well as, you know, using for embellishments for anything else. So then there's the chipboard stickers, part of the Good Stuff collection. Um, pretty basic here. They're chipboard. They probably will need some extra adhesive. I find that a lot of chipboard stickers uh, do that, but or, it, I'm assuming these are adhesive. Uh, it says they're stickers, so yeah, I would think that they were, but you know, you've got words, phrases, symbols, and then these are puffy stickers, which is kind of the same kind of things that you've seen, but they're smaller and they're that really fun puffiness to them. So I, I've used puffy stickers on my Project Life things before. Um, I had a couple of like ephemera bits that were paper like this as well. Um, yeah, let's get into the papers. You can see, oh, and then there's this other, ah, the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. I had um, the Hello Today 12 by 12 sticker sheet as well. So really like these with the little border down here, all of these small phrases. I'm um, just a lot of different shapes and, and random bits. And here it says, Hello Today, hey, <laughs> kind of a, a play on their last year's collection. So what is good stuff? And if you don't know Hello Today, um, what were these collections? What are they? So they have a page for every month. So there's a, a really cool pattern on one side, but then the other side is a way for you to document each month. Um, so if you're doing Project Life pages, if you're doing um, what, however you're doing, whatever size you're doing them in, um, these are going to be great because you can cut these apart. You can do four by six, you can do three by four. Um, so this is January and this is February. But obviously you got to have hearts for February. And then the backside has these pretty hearts. See, this is so hard because I love the B-sides of these papers. Actually, I think scrapbook.com had a, this is March with greens, obviously. Scrapbook.com had two different paper pad collections for this um, collection. And I kind of feel like if they're still in stock, the next time I make a purchase at scrapbook.com, I might, I might get it just so that I have duplicates of these and I can use these really great B-sides um, as I see fit. So this is April. Got lots of rainbows and Happy colors. This is May. I really like that they have uh, the calendars here. I use that a lot in my monthly pages. And then there's that plus sign on this pattern paper. And then this is June. So we're getting into summery colors and um, ice creams. And then the um, stripes on the back. July, more summery things. And then you've got polka dots on the back. August, life is peachy, just peachy. Lots of peach themed things here going on. And on the back side, it's peaches with peach pits. I hate peaches. <laughs> I don't like to eat peaches. I'll just throw that out there. What fruit do you not like? Leave that in the comments. Um, this is September. So we're getting more into like fall types of things. Going back to school. I love those diagonal stripes. October. Um, oh, I like these journaling spot things here. Um, oh, I like this one too with the, with the lines. That's cool. November, obviously, oh, stay golden. Oh, reminds me of Betty White, who just passed away last month. I like this polka dot design as well. And then December, I love that they've got like a coffee cup here because I always get a birthday drink at Starbucks, and this is perfect for documenting that. Although I didn't get one last year because I was traveling and all the Starbucks were closed. <sighs> it was really sad. And you can only use your birthday reward at Starbucks on the day of your birthday. So, like, Good luck to you if your birthday is Christmas Day. I mean, mine's the day after, which isn't super helpful, but like, I don't know. I hope they're open on your birthday. It could at least like give you a week. I mean, come on, Starbucks. Let's be honest. Let's be real here. Um, So that's the collection. That's Simple Stories Good Stuff. Pretty much like everything that comes in it. 
Um, and that's what Chamel's working with for February. I'm going to be following along with her, like I said, but probably not using these papers because I'm going to save them for my monthly Project Life pages. Um, and then I'm going to have my second part of this coming up right now. All right, so this is part two. So I made a separate order at a website called Peacecraft Love. Here they are right here. Anna is the founder and owner of this online store. And I was really glad that I found this because they had some of the pieces that I needed for my February kit that other places did not. Or rather, you know, maybe I, scrapbook.com might have had them, um, but I wanted to I wanted to support like a small local business. And so that's what Peacecraft Love is. And they also have the Mix It Up Monday Hop that goes on every month that just started this year. And I participated participated in it in January. So stay tuned because I'm going to be participating in it again in February. All right. So I purchased um, this Distress Oxide Spray in Kitsch Flamingo. I love it. Looks like it got a little leaky in the package, but that's totally okay. It's still got the plastic wrap on it. Um, I mean, who doesn't get messy with <laughs> misting sprays anyway? So I, I like this color. I don't I don't think I have like, it looks pretty bright pink to me, um, but it could end up coming out a little like a little redder, uh, maybe. I'm not totally sure, but um, I'm really excited about working with this color. So that was part of the kit. The Simple Stories enamel dots from the Good Stuff collection. I'm glad that I have these because I love enamel dots. And then those are going to be perfect for either my Project Life pages or doing the best of both worlds things if they fit like, you know, the colors of other papers that I'm working with. <clears throat> and I also got some page protectors. So there are 10 in here. It's going to fit 20 different layouts. Um, I need these desperately to like start finishing up some, putting some layouts away in albums. Um, that's one of my scrappy goals for 2022. If you want to find out what the rest of my goals are, I'm going to have that linked below. And then there were some freebies, some freebies here. So there's a little distress oxide. It's a pin. Isn't this hilarious? Oh my gosh. It's a Distress Oxide Kitsch Flamingo pin. How funny is that? I mean, like, I didn't even know they made stuff like this, but this is really hilarious. If I ever go back to a, um, a Stampin' Scrapbook Expo, if they have them in person again this year, I'm going to I'm gonna uh, attach this to my lanyard <laughs> with all my other badges. I think that's so funny. And then she threw in this piece fell out there because they always do those chipboard pieces. Um, the chipboard stickers from the Simple Stories I Am collection. I loved this collection. I worked with it a lot back in 2020. Um, so I'm super excited to add these back into my collection with the flowers. And these are going to be great actually for maybe some of the best of both world stuff too. So you don't know. You don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. You don't know what I'm going to do with it. So you got to stay tuned to the channel to find out. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, why don't you go ahead and do that right now? And if you are a returning subscriber, thanks so much for coming back and watching my February haul. There's lots more to come this month. So see you next time. Bye.